Hello friends, this is Darren's. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, code with Darren's. In this video, we're gonna see a basic JavaScript functionality, not with an MVZ, not with an any server-side coding, uh, just basic JavaScript functionality. How to implement download operation using a JavaScript. Now, in this video, I am using a Visual Studio Code rather than a Visual Studio 2012. So Visual Studio Code is uh, lightweighted, a text editor, more efficient for front-end JavaScript programming development so let's get started so first I need to open the folder is in a desktop sample in that folder I'm just having only one docs file we're gonna download this docs file from the browser for that we need HTML file index.html I'm gonna use HTML file and in the HTML file, I have an anchor tag. In that anchor tag, when you click that, it should download the sample.docs file from the browser. So, we need to implement anchor. Refresh. Download. Okay, just check it out. For that, right click, reveal in Explorer. Double click it. Hey, see, download. Works fine. And we're gonna use a JavaScript. There's a JavaScript functionality. For that, we need a jQuery CDN to get JavaScript libraries. For that, go to jQuery CDN. In W3 schools, you could get all the jQuery related CDNs with the latest versions. I'm gonna use the Google CDN. then I'm gonna use a uh, JavaScript inside the HTML so this is really really basic functionality than you expect you no need to go for an individual JavaScript file for that so I'm using script when well, the page load we should implement the functionality so And we need to provide an ID for this anchor tag. This is my habit to put ID attribute for all the controls, whatever I implement for JavaScript functionality, which is really efficient. It will be useful to button download. I'm gonna use this button. When we click this anchor tag, the operation should be triggered. dot click we need an event as when we download the file that could be a possibility that our application refreshes so we need to prevent our browser uh, from refreshing so we need to prevent default after that, we should navigate our application uh, to our file. Then only we could download the files. Till now, we didn't specify which file that you're gonna download. So, window dot location dot href is equal to our file is in direct folder. So, docs. That's it. One more tricky part is here. This is href is ash. We no need to redirect this of a uh, anchor tag into that uh, empty page. So the dummy as HTML file has to be there. No script dot HTML. Then only it will be work properly. So go to the browser, refresh here. When you click download, our file will start to download. See, our file has been downloaded successfully. Sample. So this is for a document text files. If you are using a PDF file, a normal PDF file, this is a Chrome functionality. PDF, go, refresh, download, it'll open the PDF file. So this is such a basic and such a simple functionality 
that everybody should know in terms of JavaScript than you which is really really easy than I expected so I hope you guys will really love this video and it will be really really helpful to you if you like this video like comment share and don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get my latest video updates I will meet you in my next wonderful video until that bye bye take care thank you